Hello everybody, my name is Lance uh, from Montana and today's episode I'm going to show you how I created this. This is a silhouette of a wolf and uh, they're easy to do. I've, I've painted several, lots of these animal silhouettes and uh, stuff like this and every one of them sold. So uh, every, obviously people like them and they're pretty marketable. So if you're interested in making some money painting, this is a great way to, to, uh, to, to, to try to make an extra buck or not, because these seem to be really popular. So anyway, uh, again, without further ado, let's get started on the painting and I'll show you how I did this step by step and uh, have a great day and thanks for watching. Okay, I'm gonna go over my palette and stuff today that I'm gonna use and we'll go back through it. I'm gonna start with Cad Yellow here. This is a mountain mixture. Uh, it's got all different colors and it. it's a good dark base color. It's a Bob Ross color. Thalo Blue, Burnt Sienna. This is a brown that I mixed with uh, uh, using Sap Green and Lizard and Crimson. This is uh, Yellow Ochre, some red, some orange, some green, Sap Green. And this is Soil Green. It's kind of good for some kind of a earthier looking green. That's nice. And then there's some titanium white. Okay. And the brushes I'm going to use, I'm going to use a one inch brush. I've used this one already to put a thin layer of uh, white coating so it blends really good in the sky. This will be what I'm going to use for my sky and land for the background. Um, I'm going to use this knife probably for the mountains. This is a, a little angle brush. I might use that for the mountains too. We'll see. This is smaller. And then just a small detail liner brush. And then another fan brush I'll use probably for some foliage in the foreground. And then if I pick something else up, we'll, we'll maybe try that too. So uh, anyway, that's uh, kind of what I'll be starting with. And I might add some colors to it, but pretty simple. Here we go. Okay, I want to show you when you're doing these, uh, really quick, when you're doing these uh, um, silhouettes, what I do is, this is one I've done, it's a ram. But all you do is you take this sticky back paper, and the white stuff works better than the clear stuff that I've noticed. The clear stuff doesn't stick as well. And so if you can get the white stuff, it seems to have more tack. And then you just put it on the thing. You come in and you cover it like that. Okay. And then all you do is you, you take, pull the tape off, stick it on there, and then you trace out your silhouette and you pull the silhouette out. That's as easy as it gets. Then you can use one of these types of knives here. And what that'll do is it'll give you that you can just kind of go through and cut it out. And if you're doing a canvas, sometimes these go through the canvas, so you got to be really careful. If you're doing a panel, they're a lot easier. You can put a little more pressure on it, okay? And then once you're done, like on this one here, I did a I did a, a, a border around it too. So there's a, like a, it's got like a, a matte edge on it and stuff. And you can do that with tape also. So it's not too hard to do, but that's how you do that portion. So hopefully that helps. Okay, thanks Mace. Okay, we're ready to start here. Yeah, everybody. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start with, um, here's my palette again I showed you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with some, uh, Eliz or some of this, uh, can you see that? This is just light. I don't want a lot of paint, but this is just uh, yellow ochre, okay? And I think we're gonna come right about here. Okay, put that right there. There, that's plenty. Get a little more. This is just a really soft. And then we're just gonna bring some down here. Okay. There, a little yellow ochre, a little more. It's a nice color. Got a little more, it's pretty weak. So a little more right in there. Let's go side to side. And then what I want to do is check the camera here. Looking good. Might be a little bright, but we can always crop and fix it. Okay, a little more right in there. Good. Okay, and then I'm going to come in and get some orange, just a touch of orange. Put that above it and mix it in there. There, a little bit down here. Okay, I kind of did something similar to this the other day. I like the colors, so I don't want to get a little bit of... I like the bright red down there and the bottom might end up being foliage, but we can start it that way. And I'm just going back and forth. Okay. And then we're going to get some that red, some more red, a little phthalo blue together. And that'll give us kind of a, that'll give us a uh, kind of a purple color. 
lavender, whatever. There. Uh, this is just a silhouette of a wolf. I, I, tr I traced on here and put this tape on here. So what this one's going to do, hopefully, is uh, I've done several of these silhouettes, and I can tell you every single one of them has sold. <laughs> so they're a good, uh, if you want to try to start out painting and make something unique that people might, uh, that people really like, uh, these are, these are pretty good to do. Okay, now I'm just taking some phthalo blue, same brush. I don't always use this. I use a bigger brush, but on this small of a canvas, small painting area, I, I uh, and work your way down and it'll get lighter and just kind of blend it into there. Okay, don't worry about the hairs and stuff. And then come down here and you can add that to the feet. There, so you can kind of see his feet now. A little darker at the bottom, All right? Because that'll lead your eye to the center we're kind of hoping for. And hopefully these edges hold tight and they don't bleed through, but sometimes they do. And up top here, I'll just get a little more dark right there. See? So there's our background. And I kind of like it. I think it looks pretty good. I'm going to put my palette down. And then I'm going to grab another one of those brushes. And I should have them right in front of me here, but I don't. So I'll just take this. There's a larger one here. And let's see, I've got several of them, but I'll take this one here. It's pretty big, but it'll it'll just blend. And that all blended pretty good anyway, but we're going to start right here in the light port, part, port, and just blend them. Now there's white, that, that white medium under here, so that's lightening everything up. And it's also giving me uh, um, a, a nice, it blends easy. And then for what I'm going to do is take the other end of it and just kind of go like this where I didn't oh, see that blue I got in there. I shouldn't have done that, but that's okay. We can go grab a uh, another brush like this one here and see how I contaminate that, but that's okay. We can move it out. See, you can barely see it there. And then just go back and forth down here in the land or water. There. How's that look? Now you don't want to go back in after you've, uh, um, you don't want to go back in after you've, went to there. So if you want it lighter, I'm going to just grab a touch of this white. And I'm just going to use this brush that I, and we're going to come in and go like this. And we're going to come right here, start in the middle, right here, and work your way out. Slowly just go up. Okay. And that'll just lighten the sky a little bit. Make it a little lighter and go down here and do the same thing. Okay, there, that makes it a little, it'll stand out a little bit more. Okay, and then we can take and grab, oh, grab that brush, wipe a brush. You can just, you know, a lot of times you can just wipe your brush down, you know, go like this on something like beat, beat the brush back and forth, and then we can blend it again right here. Okay, it doesn't matter what brush you use. See those hairs? We'll get those out later. Just go down here. So there's our sky, okay? And if you do get a, a hair, you can pull them out later or do that, whatever. Those those uh, brushes tend to shed. There, okay. All right, so we got that. Now, I think what I'm going to do is take a little bit of... Um, we're going to do... We'll start and do some mountains here. Do a mountain in there. And I'll just grab some of that brown that I had mixed and a little bit of this other color and there that should be good maybe a little blue in there blue in there sorry and that'll just be my mountain color okay and we'll just kind of make a mountain oops <laughs> so maybe a little more of that brown and I just grab you know when you're doing that you just take and go just grab a chunk on the mountain on there Okay, and we're going to start the mountain maybe right about here. We'll kind of pull it so you see his ears, and then your mountain's going to kind of just pull this way maybe. Okay, just kind of make some peaks up there. Grab a little more. There. And then that can kind of just come there and... We want a few little peaks in the mountain here, so 
and just make like there. There, see? Just kind of pull that down. And you're more concerned with the outside of it than the inside. I want to get that. These panels, this is a panel. Okay, you can change it a little bit. There. These panels are a little bit there. Harder to, to do than a regular canvas because the canvases are usually they're flexible and stuff. So they give you a little, a little knoll there. Just have a little knoll there, you know, whatever. Keep it simple. Okay. So there's our peak. How's it look? Good. So we'll take that. And what I want to do is a lot of times you want to try to get as much of this paint off as you can up here. And that can come down maybe. That peak a little more. And I can we can come in with the brush too and or the that little knife. And, there. So we got that. And then I want to come in and you can use a fan brush since I have one here and just kind of pull these edges down. This is an easy way to paint, okay? And just pull that that way. That softens the bottom. Bring that all the way over. You don't have to go all the way up into the mountain, but there, just kind of round it out. Maybe it comes down and you could you could leave your mountain just like that if you want, but I want to add some highlights in it, give it a little color. So I'm going to take and grab a little of that brown, put that over there, and some white, okay, for my highlights. Okay, something like that. You can get a little more white in there if you want, okay? And let's say, let's have the light coming from, let's just say we want the light to be on this side today. And so we're just going to come in here and kind of start over here. Just touch. Just kind of pull down, let it bounce. A little more white. Okay. Just get it on there and then a little more. There we go. There, you grab this one. Just touching and pulling. Okay. Just have this little break. Okay. Again, we'll go up here. I'm going to put my palette down and grab here. And same thing, just come in and touch. And just let it bounce, do whatever. All right, pull it over a little bit. Very good, very good. And then maybe that comes down a little more. And then just kind of very simple. Very, I mean, that's an easy way to make mountains. You can, you know, however you want to do it. Maybe over here, this one just comes in a little bit like this. There's just a little bit hiding back there on that peak. Or you can pull them down maybe like this. Now let's just bring them down this way. Make it easy. Pull down a little bit there and then just bring them down. So there's your mountain peak for that one. Very easy. And when you use a knife, you get a lot of detail. You can use a brush like I was thinking of using this one. Um, and that can that can work too. It just doesn't. Knives just give you a lot of detail. And then you can come down here and pull the base of it out a little bit. Follow your angles. Okay. Just so it's kind of at the bottom, it's kind of soft. Okay. And then on the other side, you know, we might want a little bit of, I'm going to take some of that color and get some blue in it. Mix some blue in there. Some white. And I'm just going to create a shadow color. Maybe that looks pretty good. A little more phthalo blue. More phthalo blue. There. And that brown helps it too. Dulls it down a little bit. Okay. Let me just use a small end of the knife. And we'll come over here and just maybe throw in a little bit of shadows. You can come in and just touch, pull. Okay. Something like that. Keep them darker if you want. Maybe a little bit right in here. This one comes this way, right? Here, just pull him down. You start getting these little mountains and they can be... Pull that down. A little shadow there. A little bit right in here. That comes down. Okay, maybe a little bit right here. See? Just where you think there might be shadows. Maybe a little bit in there. There. 
and just kind of gives it a little bit of shadowy look and I think that'll be fine. We can also come in and go this way. Maybe we want to pull this down that way a little bit. Kind of gives you a little indication there. So, okay, good. I think that looks all right. And I think we'll just leave it like that. Um, we can come back in with our, if we want, and blend this down a little more. Just grab it and pull it a little bit more. Okay. Grab a little of that blue and maybe there. So there, we got a nice little mountain. And uh, leave it, leave it. I think it looks good right where it's at. Okay. 12 minutes into this painting. It's not a race, but uh, a lot of times they're funner to watch when you can get through them quicker. I'm not going to do any clouds in here. There's just not a lot of room to do them. So um, I think we're just going to leave them out. So, okay. Now I'm going to take my, uh, that fan brush I was using, and I'm just going to kind of come in and I'm going to get some land going down here. Take some of that brown, some of that color I had, that maybe get a little green in there. I'm just mixing up some dark. Okay. And we're going to come down here and maybe we're going to lose a lot of this. Sorry, but maybe our land's going to be right here. Okay. Maybe there's just some land down here. I'm hoping this doesn't fall off. <laughs> Darken it. See, and get a little sap green in there if we want. Just mixing colors together and bring it down. Okay. Not bad. Kind of getting rid of all of our, maybe there's some land there. And then maybe there's a little more right at the bottom where his feet are. And this will, when you pull off the, that'll darken his feet up a little bit. Okay, I don't know. There, and we could bring that up more too. Maybe we will, a little bit more right here. Yeah, there we go. And you can see I'm getting into that, just throwing some greens in there or whatever, down in here. Down here you can have a little more. Kind of make it like this. It kind of pulls you down and then we'll go there. Okay, and maybe, I don't know, maybe there's some water down there. These long legs can make it a little difficult, you know? So when you're, let's see, go down there. these long legs can kind of make it a little difficult, but we can maybe pull down here. There's a little water right there. I like, you know, I always do like water. Like this legs there. And you can come in if you can't see it enough. Watch this. I'm gonna come in and grab a little white. Pull it down there. See, pull that down. A little shadow color, wipe them off, and then you'll just go like this. Let's go across there. Gives a little kind of little water looking color. Okay, and we can take that knife, grab a little of that brown maybe. Come in here and scratch a little water line. Something like that. I'm just getting a little on the top of the knife and then kind of following the angle over. See? There, so you kind of have some water looking stuff. You know, let's see here. It's kind of, all you do is paint and then when you get to the, put a little out here in the water. Then when you get to the, uh, you pull the thing off, it's like, oh, okay, everything looks good. Okay, so that looks pretty good there. We'll take it. Now we're going to get some highlights on that color that we did. So I'm gonna stick with this color here. I'm gonna add some yellow to it, okay? A little bit of green too. Some yellow, see? I'm just tapping this brush. A little blue in there maybe. And this, will, this is very, so. And then up here, we're gonna just come in and throw a little color in there, okay? And that yellow is gonna mix with that other color and it'll See, this will give it a little bit of a, you know, get that bright color in there, and that kind of sometimes will help with the cell. It doesn't have to take you forever. See, just layer it, and don't kill all the dark. Leave the dark in there. So you don't, otherwise it'll get flat. And 
Okay, and that comes down to the water. You could put a little bit of that down here in the water, maybe. A bit of that in the water, and then we can, I should have done that first, but it's not a big deal. And then you can just lightly pull down some of that. Okay, pull that down. And we can come back through and put the things in. Barely touch, just go across. There, so now you got a little bit of that grass color there in there, and that'll look good. And you can do whatever there, okay? Now we gotta get some down below here too, right? We'll do the same thing. Get some more of that. There, see? And that down below will make it a little darker. Maybe it'll make it look farther away. I don't know. That's where his hooves are going to be. Or his hooves, it's not a, I think an elk, this is a wolf. So, um, yeah, that looks good. We'll do her. Okay, now it's time for, we're going to have to get some more, I'm going to mix up some more color here. Because this is just going to be our trees. So we're going to get some base color going. I'm going to take some of that dark I was using. Mix that up. I'm going to take some red, put some red in there. Okay, some green. Get some green. I'm mixing it all up here. I want it dark, though. Get some blue in there. There. This will be my base color for our trees, okay? Okay, nice and dark. Get some more red in there. Get some brown. Okay, I like that. I'm going to grab a little more of this mountain color. Mess there. That'll make them nice and dark and rich. So all I'm doing is making my tree color, my base tree color. Mix that in there. Look at that. There it is. That'll be my base tree color. Okay. I'll just kind of push all that on there. Get as much off of that night pal or of that. Uh, okay. And so I'm going to come in and use this guy. First of all, I'm going to use my liner brush. I'm going to create where I want my trees. So I'm going to come in. See what I'm going to do is come in here. It's kind of a liner brush, and we're just going to start throwing some trees in. They're going to start about right here, maybe. Put one there. Okay. We're going to bring them all the way down to there. Okay. And we'll have one right here, maybe. And I think I'll just do some pine trees today. We have one over here. He comes in at an angle. You might not see all of them, right? And we'll have one right here. We'll come right down. Just nice little. Okay. I, should, I could have wetted this down. One, two, three, four. We need five, right? So I'm going to put one right here. Right about here. Put him right there. Okay. So you got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. I like that. Okay. And then we're going to come in and grab the fan brush. Okay, I might thin it a little bit. We'll see how this stuff comes off. But let's start out and load this fan brush up with that color. Okay, ready? Okay, back and forth. Get it ready. And we're going to throw some trees. We'll start with this one. Okay, and I'm just going to do normal. I'm just going to come in and start tapping. Okay. And we're going to pull that down, grab some more paint. Need a lot of paint. And just make some pine, some trees. You can start with one side and just kind of come down to the base. Right to there. Okay. I think I'm gonna need some more paint. And you can come over here and just nice and dark. Okay, and this one, same thing, just start smacking them in. Just pushing, just creating, you know. And they can overlap, it doesn't matter. Okay. And here we're gonna pull this one in. He's smaller, right? Just kind of come in and you don't need them to look perfect. They need to be kind of trees or there. See? All the way down. All the way down. Good. And this one I'll go a little higher on too. But there. There, right there. And we'll fix that. We'll fix that uh the uh, tops of those trees, don't worry. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I need some more green too. Sap green in there. And the highlight should just go on nice and 
I'm just mixing up some more colors here, guys. So give me a second. I need more paint. There. There. Okay. A little more of that dark paint for it. Nice. There. Again. And I'm just going to come down here and do the same thing. There we go. Just kind of nudge it in. Wiggle it if you want. You know, this way, that way. Sometimes if you start, just go down the middle. See, there's different ways you can learn to do trees. Just go down the middle and then you can branch it out when you want. See? Make sure you keep some. See? It's simple. Go quick. Don't put too much effort. I mean, don't over, you know, think these things. Because the faster you go sometimes, the better. I'm going to go over here and just touch. And you could use a smaller fan brush up here if you wanted. And I could come in and do that, maybe. There, over here. Get this one a little bit more. Right here. Touch. I'm just touching barely. Okay. There, so you got your pine trees in there. Okay. That doesn't look too bad. Now what I want to do... I was going to show you, so I'll just grab another. I'm trying to keep myself from making a big mess here. Let me grab my this here and just grab and go like this, like right here. And I want to be kind of there. We go. See, that kind of makes it look a little better. Pull that one up. <laughs> See, and you're just touching and going up. There, grab this one. Push it up. There, gives them a nice point on the top. And then if you want, like that one there, I think I'm maybe coming up and making them a little higher. And start down and go up. See? Go up. Start here and go up a little bit. There. There. There you have your, uh, the trees are in there. They look pretty good. And then we're going to come in and grab some of this color we used earlier and maybe darken it a little bit that brown I had okay I'm just gonna take a little bit on the knife and just kind of come in here and touch there's the center there you go it could be a little darker I guess that's okay some little indications there let me get a little lighter so they stand out a little bit a touch barely touching try to keep it there can you see those Come here. Oh, that one got a lot on it. That's okay. Touch. Maybe right there. There. Just kind of give them some indications there. Okay, and that one there. Maybe he's got a little, like, a little bigger there. I don't know. Just kind of go easy. If you got, you want to, you can go like this. Pull that up. If you don't like the way they look. Again, you can do whatever you want with these. Okay. There. I like that. So you got your trees there and your distant mountain and some that looks good now i'm going to come back in and grab yellow some more yellow because that's going to be our and it's going to mix in there good so but i'm going to get a different fan brush i'm going to get a new one because the one that we had that i was using is extremely uh dirty so let's see right here okay we'll use this one Okay, so I'm going to come in and I'm going to probably thin this a little bit because I'm going to go over this. When you go over this green, you're going to have a, there, that's enough, right here. Okay, get my finger out of the way. So we want to get some highlights on these trees. So I've thinned it, okay, with the yellow. Put a little orange in there. And you can do, so watch this. Okay, and we're going to come in. And you can grab it there, kind of come over here. I want it a little there. Okay, watch this now. And we're just going to put some highlights on. And, uh, you know, this, we said the light was kind of coming from the left, but we'll just kind of come in and just kind of touch them. You know, I'm pushing up. I'm just kind of coming in and let it get darker towards the bottom, okay? Just want to have a little indication of some stuff in there okay and when you do this it'll cover up some of that some of the uh um tree trunks you put in like that see okay come over here same thing just kind of 
kind of slowly go down. Can you hear that? Got my new mics, you know. I got one up here and one on my shirt, so they're pretty good. Get a little more light if you want. You want this to, you know, look good. It's, you know, you're, you know where your light's coming from. And then let the bottom stay darker. Just don't touch as hard down here. See? There. And then at the bottom here, where here we can kind of put some little highlights right in here. You know, maybe that opens up. Now the trees are in there, so you won't see as much there, right? You got a little bit there. Kind of cool. And then you can come in. The cool thing about these ones is you don't know how they're going to turn out till they're done. <laughs> you pull the tape off and then I can pull up here and maybe get some little indications in there. Some more things happening under here. Yeah, see? These are just little grassy things you can pull up. You know, if you want, you can come in and maybe make another twig or something right there. Just little sticks, things that are, you didn't really, you know, hide back in there. Yeah, it just gives it some, some good, uh, okay, there's my phone. <laughs> so there, we kind of have, I think, what I was looking for, you know, and everything. So um, we can come back in and you can do a little, watch this, get a little white. More of this. Come in here, maybe try to get a little more of a water line back there. See, maybe a little something in the middle here. You know, it doesn't have to be. And you can thin this, but I'm not gonna. All right, where his leg is. See, that'll look good. Pull some stuff over. There's our, you know, you've got some good looking. I like it. I like it. I think it looks good. Okay, now I want to come in. I want to blend this a little more. You can't touch these trees, so whatever you do, don't don't get into the trees. I'm just gonna try to blend out a little more. There. See? Okay. And I think that's looking all right as far as things go. Now what I'm gonna do is this could be difficult, but I'm gonna pull the. I'm gonna come in and pull off the the. Uh, where is I'm going to yank off the tape here so this is kind of the fun part here I am going to try to get a little tiny bit more white up in here on this okay I'm going to try to get a little white up in here there we go there we go give that a little more action okay and you can come back in when you're done and redo some stuff if you want uh, Yeah, after it dries because you can only do so much on wet on wet, right? See that? I want some more white up there. More white. Yeah, it can be tough. Give me some white. There, watch this. I'm going to come in and try to... There we go. A little bit there. Come down a little further. Stand out a little more. Okay. Get a little bit right on this one too. Okay. There we go. There. That makes it look a little more. Makes the mountains stand out a little more. Right? I'm going to pull that down a little bit more here. Just a little bit right there. There. Maybe this one can come down a little further white just trying to get them to stand out a little bit more touch cool that looks good i like that we'll do that and then give me this little brush here will probably be fine just pull this one down just a little bit and it blends them down a little bit stay away from that tree there How's that? That kind of gives it a little, kind of makes it look like it's just hanging up there in the sky. And I think that looks pretty good. All right. So I'm going to try to take this off without hmm, making a mess here. Okay. What I'm going to do is probably try to, I don't want to ruin my palette. 
make sure your fingers aren't dirty either. Okay, there, I think I got a good start. <laughs> okay, now since this is kind of tucked in behind there, I'm gonna come in and try to do this. This knife's dry, so it shouldn't. And I put a coat on the back of this. This is going to be nice, but ooh, go easy. Okay, that's not looking too bad, huh? Uh oh, I don't want it to fall. This is on there pretty good. Okay, <laughs> it's hard because I tucked everything behind there. Okay, grab this one. Same thing. And we're going to pull, pull this up and over. Very easily there. That's not too bad. Okay, there he is. Dun, 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 dun. And it's a wolf, you know. It's kind of cool looking, and and everything. I like the way it looks. I'm gonna take and put that there. And do something different today. Okay, this will come off eventually. Pull that off. Okay. Here, just get that out of the way. Sometimes you got to be careful when you do this because your fingers get dirty and then you start touching stuff and then you're going to be mad at yourself, okay? And you don't want to get any paint on there if you don't have to, okay? There's my wolf. Did I get it centered? I hope so. Okay, now I'm going to come in with this fan brush I used, okay? We're going to have some fun. Watch this. And this is something you can do. We're going to come in and hit his feet. Okay. And just grab, push up. I'm just going to kind of go like this. Oh boy. Oh boy. See? Keep your angles. Boom, 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 boom. That looks good, doesn't it? Okay. And I'm just smacking paint in. You can put his feet down if you want. Down to there. A little bit right there. There. Boom, 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 Not too bad. Okay. And then we're going to come in with this one again. Remember the one I had before. I'm going to grab some yellow paint and just kind of come in and Highlight that nice and thin. See, I'm pushing up. Don't kill all your dark. Okay, I'm just grabbing and going like this. Okay, you can push that up there. So now he's just kind of standing there. Just a nice uh, little simple simple painting okay i think that's good i think we have some cool stuff there and you could put realistically you could put a tree there if you wanted i think that would kind of make it a little more uh might make it a little uh a little confusing so i'm not gonna i think we'll just leave it you can pull this up a little bit if you want to do some little pull some things up here you could come through that color too and do it Kind of pull some little things up. Some grassy things like he's standing out. You know? Or you could use a liner brush. I find it easier just to do it this way. Pull up. You can grab that paint and stuff there and do all that. So there you go. Now we're going to... Ah, last thing. I'll get her signed. And I just use a liner brush, get it really thin, some red paint, come in here, and we'll sign it. There it is. So that's how you can do a silhouette painting, and uh, you can do lots of things. You can you could come in and, and put clouds in there and everything, but this is kind of cool how it works, and then you can add this into the foreground, 
And uh, you could even put more down there all the way to the bottom if you wanted. But I kind of want to have a little distance like so it looks more centered because I think I had him too, too high up. But thanks for again for watching. Have a great day.